Okay, so let's try to prove this. Uh, for doing so, first remember what the uh, cumulative distribution function, or cumulative density function of a random variable means. So let's say we have some variable y, and this is the density function over some support. This is what the density function looks like. Then the cumulative density function is just the integral from the from minus infinity to infinity of this, and it's monotone increasing, and it goes from zero, uh, sorry, it goes from zero here and goes to one. So in other words, the cumulative density function always increases. It's always going to lie in the range zero to one, and so if we take any value alpha over here, we denote this density function for y as capital F sub y. And so we're saying that this value over here, which is F y of alpha, has the meaning that the probability that y is less than or equal to alpha is given by F y of alpha. And that's just the very straightforward definition of what we mean by a cumulative density function. Now, for an example, let's take the case of the uniform distribution. So let's have a random variable, small u, which is distributed as uniform in the range 0 to 1. And for this distribution, the uh, cumulative density function is particularly straightforward. It goes from 0 to 1, and it's a straight line that goes from 0 to 1 as well on the y-axis. And so for any value alpha, the probability, which is f u of alpha, is just given by alpha because it's just uh, identity equation. So, uh, in other words, if u is uniformly randomly distributed, then uh, f u of alpha, which is the probability that in the value u is less than or equal to alpha, is equal to f u of alpha is equal to alpha. So. That's another fairly straightforward fact. 